All right, so all of the fractions on the number line are going to have a denominator of two, and then we wrote all of the missing labels. All right, make that five look a little better up there. All right, number seven, look at the fractions you wrote on the number line above that are greater than one. So that means everything past one whole we're gonna look at, because all of these fractions on this side of the number line are greater than one whole. What do you notice about the numerator, or the number on top, and the denominator in each of these fractions? So I'm gonna change my pen color. What do you notice in all of these fractions about the numerator and the denominator. What do you notice? Well, I notice that in every single one of them, of course, the denominator is going to stay the same. It's always going to be two. So I notice they all have the same denominator and the denominator is two. But I also notice that every single one of the numerators are bigger than the number two. Well, that makes sense because all of those are fractions greater than one. So that means when they are greater than one, then the numerator is going to be greater than the denominator. That's what that means. All right, my friends, for your independent today, you are going to do this section down here. You are going to do number eight and number nine. I've made a Google Slides for you to go in and do it. You need to tell me what point A is at and what point B is at. Now, it is very important to notice that there's a whole number here and a whole number here and a whole number here and a whole number here. Do not let that confuse you on number nine. Think about what we just did for this number six because we had whole numbers all the way up to a whole number of four. So think about what we did because this, you're not gonna be counting all of these. It's not gonna be one, it's not gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your denominator is not nine. So do not turn in something to me telling me a denominator of nine because that is not your denominator, okay? That is not your denominator, it won't let me write a nine. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. So do not turn in to me a denominator of nine because that is not correct. You turn this in, message me if you have any questions. Don't forget we have a Zoom at 1.30 if you need me.